They said I was down the drain My lyrics are done, my flow don't sound the same We'll drown the shame, with charters you know Gonna throw this amount of pain, except I roam Sometimes I feel I need to be left alone My rep is known, these artists keep using me For a stepping stone, I'm sure Coming up to the show now, man uh, I probably told this story a million and one times But I'm gonna do it a million and two tonight Is, um... One of the dudes, man, who really made me want to rap, you know, um, not only just rap, but made me want to be good and made me want to get better. And and following around him in high school, shout out to William Penn High, uh, classes of between 95 and 99 and all that, man. Uh, you know, um, following around this brother, man, uh, you know, I had no choice but to get better. At the time, I was still, you know, trying to, figure out how to get my bars right you know i had the lyrics but i couldn't spit it right i couldn't get it out right and uh following around this brother slaughter man um you know just helped me become a better not only writer but a better artist a better spitter a uh, better freestyler a better everything involved with that man and um it's been a pleasure to know this brother for over 20 years um besides music man we hung out hang out you know uh done some shit behind the scenes i'd rather not say together man and um it's a it's always i know i say this man but it's an honor to have his brother up coming to the motherfucking mic right now is not only one of the illest in philly but one of the illest to ever pick up a mic i'm saying it and if you disagree we gonna have to have some fucking words coming to the mic right now my good brother slaughter rico uh -oh. What's, What's up, brother? What's good? Do I gotta step up? Uh, again, you can take it down if you want to get like comfortable. Cool. I'm Let's cool. just make sure you on. You cool? All right. Um, yeah, like so, giant right now, man. Hey, man, listen, we you a giant in general anyway, man. Um, so again, welcome back to the show, man. We had you on. I don't know. I think it might have been episode fifty something, maybe. I think it was uh, episode forty five. That sounds familiar, that man. Definitely episode forty five. That sounds familiar, man. We was uh, I think we was in Soup Studio at that time, and I remember the the one week you came, we had some issues, and 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 then yeah. we couldn't do the show. And then I was like, man, I hope Slaughter can come back next week. And you came back that following week, um, and, and we got a dope interview. And we're back now, man. That episode, though, uh, you gave us some exclusives. Speaking of that, everyone, we got some new, new exclusives we're going to talk about shortly. But that episode, man, you were gave us some exclusives for this project that you have out now called uh, I Need Parts. Um, and at the time, you know, you were still putting it together. And... Um, Again, you blessed us, and now here we are, um, 2015, you just released this joint a few months ago. Um, so far, how's the reaction been for your EP, Slaughter, I Need Parts, man? How, how's the people receiving it? Uh, they're receiving it quite well right now, man. I, this is probably the best response I got since I, you know, dropped something, period. Because I know they've been happy, man. They've been waiting, and, and you finally gave them some shit, and... I know they happy, man. Yeah, man. That's what's up, man. Now, for those um, who, who don't have a copy yet, just tell them a little bit about the project, man. Like, some maybe some of the producers on it, uh, some of the features, something like that, man. All right, well, the project is called I Need Parts. It's a six-song EP, and uh, I got some great producers on there. You know, I got Mr. Green. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Mr. Green. Shout out to Mr. Green, Green, man. I got Rob Devious. Mm, Rob D, what up? I got... uh. A brother by the name of uh, Stan Stan Newman. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I got Rock and Rollin'. Word, word. And also got Vax Morpheus. No you doubt. know what I'm saying? So I, I definitely try to keep it uh, flavorful. You know what I'm saying? Diverse. Like every song hold its own weight. Mm -hmm. And together as a collection, you know, it just make make the you know the project more decent because. Uh, you know, I think I was in my zone, and every every song got a different style to it. So, you know, everybody got their picks on which one they like the most. You know, some people say they like I Need Parts. Some people like Man Myth the Legend. Some people like I'm Cool. Mm -hmm. Most people, you know, they like uh, Down the Drain. Word, word. So mainly, you that's know. great though when when people come with telling you, oh, like I like this joint, right? I, or it's not like they're all coming back saying we all like this joint. When they're coming saying, I like this joint, I like that joint, I like this joint, that, that shows us a well-rounded like project. Damn, basically, yeah. yeah basically. I appreciate that. You know no what doubt, I'm man. No doubt. Now, where did you uh, find the inspiration from to put this project together and put it out, man? What was your thought process while you were putting it together? What motivated you to, to give them this I Need Parts EP? Oh, uh, man. Well, 
Honestly, what, what motivated me to drop this EP it was it's about that time for me to drop something. You know what I'm saying? It just seems like uh, I was one of those rappers that everybody want to reference to being a DVD rapper when I, actually I got way more to offer than just being a, a DVD rapper mm -hmm. or, or a battle rapper. You know what I'm saying? They want to just cl classify me in one area. And, you know, I said, well, you know, it's already a tough battle for me to, you know, try to put a, a respectable project that I can actually feel comfortable listening to myself. You know what I'm saying? Word, word. Because I'm my sure. own worst critic. And before I release anything, I got to like it first. Like, you know what I'm saying? For sure. For sure. No doubt, man. And you you mentioned uh, a few of the favorites that other people had. Is there one particular joint? I mean, I know you probably fuck with all of them, but is there one on this joint that means the most to you? Can you choose one that, that oh, truly man. means the most yeah, to you? Yeah, uh, Down the Drain mm -hmm. truly means the most to me. Uh, I would say I'm cool with second. Why, um, um, why Down the Drain, though, man? Tell, tell me. Down tell, the Drain, honestly, was... Uh, it took me a minute to really, you know, pinpoint certain things that I wanted to say in a way that I needed to be expressive. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I had to be completely honest and it was like a song where as though I ain't care how nobody took it. Cause I, I kind of felt how people thought of me for the years I was down and you know, mm -hmm. then you know, the rumors started transpiring and you know, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling some type of way because you know, if I wasn't who I was, I'd have been discouraged. Right, right. But it wasn't just like a thing where I could just jump back and answer questions and, you know, start coming at people that was just saying things that they ain't know no business of mm -hmm. saying. They just was talking because they had lips. So I, I had to figure a way to, to, you know, talk to the people without having to talk to the people. And my best way of doing that is putting it in, in rhyme form. And you know, what better way to do it but just give them a, a simple six song, you know what I'm saying, 30 minute CD, you know what I'm saying? No doubt. It's not too long. It's not too short. It's just right, like the baby bears part. It makes you, know you rewind the fuck out of it, man. When I drove, the, I told you when I drove the Virginia, man, last month, dog. Like, I might have listened to it about ten times straight on the way down. Then when I got down there, shout out to my brother Griff. You know, I had to show him, yo, look, you know, sort of got the new joint out. We banging it all weekend uh, down there. So I must have heard that John twenty five times in full. I appreciate that. Hey, sport. When we get to the break, um, after we bless him. With, with an exclusive, we gonna have to play that down the drain joint so the listeners can see what we're talking about because that's a serious record right yeah. there, man. Um, so you had a pro you had a release party um, for this joint, as <clears throat> excuse me, uh, for this joint as well, which just happened to be the coldest fucking night of the whole that's year surprising. that night. Dog. I apologize for that. <laughs> no, that ain't your fault, man. It was biting out that joint. But the reason why I mentioned that though, man, uh, not only was it fucking like literally, dog. When I got in the car to go home, it was like one fucking degree, and it was a Sunday night. People sh showed up. They turned out. They showed you mad love. Um, it, it, it was a lovely crowd, man. How did it make you feel um, to see everyone come together to support you on, on that night, man? How did that feel for you, Slaughter? Oh, man. I felt wonderful that night. Like, I felt important. I felt like uh, it was my birthday party or something, my pre-birthday party. Like, you know, people that I didn't think that would come out, they came out to support me. Mm -hmm. Even if they just came in to see me and buy a CD and left. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Even if they didn't st stay to see my set because, you know, at that time, it was like about almost one o'clock before I got on. Word, so, word. you know, everything means something to me, man. You I know what I'm saying? As long as they left with something, that's all that matters to me. And that's the reason why I do it, you know what I'm saying? For sure, man. Um, yeah, because I, I, to be honest, I was supposed to bounce about an hour earlier than right. I did, but I, I couldn't leave without seeing that performance, man. And uh, for anyone that's listening, and if you didn't make it out to the show, um, if you go on our YouTube channel to take over at 10, I recorded, I took footage of one of the songs uh, live from the release party. You could check that out on there um, and all that good shit. So um, we, before we get to the break, because I, I definitely want to spend some joints, but before we do that, man, um, being as old, you know, as talented as you are and uh, the, the love that you receive, it, which is real, you, you receive real love, um, do you ever feel like you don't get the true respect that you deserve, whether it be from your peers, whether it be from fans, or maybe even record execs? I think um, I get the I get the respect that I deserve. But I mean, it seemed like uh, people respect me when I'm not there. You know, I'm a type of dude where, you know, what I mean, I'm straight up. So a lot of people they're not going to be like, well, yes, Lord Rico, 
you know, you're a great rapper, keep up the good work. They don't know how to come straight to me. They, they go around me. You know what I'm saying? Word. And it's because I'm straight up. Like, I, I won't hesitate to speak my mind or, you know, be truthful. Word, word. So, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I, I do know that uh, I am getting the respect that I deserve. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to walk around, you know what I'm saying, my chest out like Donnie Bravo. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Demanding nothing. You know what I'm saying? True that. True that. Uh, the ones that don't respect, I will never know nothing about it yeah, unless it's in my face. Right. You know what I'm and saying? And they won't disrespect to the face, for sure. But it's all love. Of course it's definitely it is, all man. love. You know what I'm saying? Of course, man. Now, um, coming here tonight, man, we were under the impression we was going to spin uh, a few joints off of the I Need Parts CD. And uh, literally, as we pulled up, Feely's like, yo, I just got an email from Screw Tape. Um, with some joints that, and shout out to Screw Tapes in the building, uh, that, you know, Slaughter wanted y'all to spin, and uh, it, it's a few exclusives in there, man. Um, now, I do know you, you're you working on a project, and we're gonna talk about the, the second half of the interview, but can you tell us about the joints that you just sent us that you really wanted us to play? Um, Cause we're about to get to them, but I want you to pretty much lead us into it. Uh, as far as what we're about to do. All right, right, well, I'm working on a new project and it's called Tomorrow's Not Promise, which, you know, I'm sure that, you know, a lot of my fans and supporters, they've been hearing me screaming this this title for the longest since I tried to make my return in the first place. Word. You know what I'm saying? Tomorrow's Not Promise. That would actually came out before I Need Parts, but I figured, no, let me drop this EP, mm. I Need Parts. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I need parts is because tomorrow's not promised. Mm. So... I'm, it's, I'm doing this thing chapter for chapter. Like, you know, I gave y'all the first chapter. I need parts. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow's Not Promise basically speaks for itself. Like, you know, uh, tomorrow's not promised and today isn't either. So you got to just take your chance and live like you only got one shot at it. You know what I'm saying? No doubt. No doubt. So the joints, the joints you sent us will be on Tomorrow's Not Promised. Yeah. Correct? All right. So how about we get to one right now? Um, I know you, you sent us two joints. Um... How about we get to the one featuring a fellow North Philadelphian, man? Sure. Can you lead us into that this song, man? This track right here I got is called Thorough Bulls. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Featuring Petey Petey, a.k.a. Petey Crack. Crack! A.k.a. Pedro Tequila. Crack, you know man, what, what up? These boys are best It's my boy. DJ. All right, so look, right here, you heard it, man. We about to get to a couple joints off of uh, the new project, and then we going to also spin that Down the Drain joint off of the uh, I Need Parts joint. But right now... Slaughter Rico featuring P.D. Crack leading into the break, so shout out to everyone that does have the project. Again, if you don't have it, uh, throw in the Dan Camp exact link real quick for that for in order to get the project, Slaughter. Bandcamp, yeah. Right uh, now, I'm trying to get it off of the pre-order list, so if you just go on there, just get the goddamn album. It's on there. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Cool. And like you said, if you see them in person, uh, or maybe you can hit them don't, up. Don't be shy to walk yeah, up yeah. on me and say, uh, Slaughter Week, I heard you got that new. I'm going to hit you like, bam! Just tell them. Be like, yo, Slaughter, like, I need parts, man. Off a of living color, I'm going to hit you with that shit. Bam! <laughs> you know, just team. let them know, man. So, uh, again, also, man, we got a few joints um, coming off of the new project. Tomorrow's not promised. Um, just tell us a little bit more about the project, man. Like, uh, you know, what direction you're going in with it. Maybe a few features that we can expect on there. Yeah, I got uh, I, I got the features already lined up. So okay, you already we heard PD, PD on that joint. My brother Screw Tape definitely going to be Screw. working on a song called Thinking Man's Game. It's about chess. So mm. don't bite, bite our shit and start talking about chess. Mm. Cause I'm gonna hit you with the uh, play every the horse. Day. Mm. Play every day. Word, we word. play every day. I got winners, I'm man. Come on, I got winners, well, man. Well, listen, you need to be a part of Chess Time Multiple. Word, I do. That's the that's the game. That's where y'all play at. Chess Time, man. Oh shit! Make sure I get that, man. Yeah, it's for sure. Chess Time Multiple play, player dot com. I love to play, man. You know, I haven't played in a while. I got a real nice glass. Uh, chess table or set at home, man. It's real nice, but it's in the box right now. Up, for sure, for yeah. sure, man. No, I'm dead up when I say I got winners. Y'all hit, let me know, and uh, I'll jump on it for sure. Um, so yeah, man. Uh, so you, so we heard some of the uh, is is that all so far though? You screw, I mean, screw, uh, you got PD on that joint. Anyone else we can expect as of right now, or are you still working some things well, out? I'm maybe? still working some things out, but you know. I'm going to give them 11 songs, mm. you know what I'm saying? Because I'm from 11th and Styles, so I'm going to give them 11 different styles on this album. 
And I know people probably thinking, well, damn, why you ain't gonna give us 16 songs? Because why should I pull y'all a whole picture of Kool Aid when y'all need to respect this cup of juice right here? Mm. Yeah, you know I'm saying. Talk to so I'm gonna give y'all a little cup at a time. You know what I mean? I don't wanna pour the whole picture, mm. but uh, every little cup counts. Word. You word. know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna give them 11 different styles, man. Mm. 11 different songs, 11 different styles. I'm from 11 different styles. Word up. You know what I mean? Yeah. So who who produced that PD joint? What's some of the give my me nephew? A few my nephew the, at the real Dougie. Mm. You know what I'm saying? We call him DJ Dougie. You know what word, I'm saying? Word. This is my nephew. You actually made the beat. That's love, man. And I, you know what I mean? I, I'm proud of him. You know, I helped inspire him to be, you know what I'm saying, a rapper and a beat maker. But he's excellent, man, at what he do. I know he got to feel real good to hear his uncle go hard on one yeah. of his tracks, man. Yeah. I know that's much love, man. Um, anyone else we can expect right now? Oh, matter of fact, who did the Tomorrow's Not Promise joint? Uh, uh, rock and Rollin'. My brother Rock and Rollin' did the Tomorrow's Not. Well, that's it's dope, actually dope. called Live for the Day. Live for the Day. I'm sorry, you Live right. For Live for today. You know what I'm saying? That yeah, joint's tough too. And, and also he did Down the Drain right, and, right, Ma right. and Man Myth the Legend. Right, right. So, yeah, you know man. what I'm saying? He's, he's very diverse, shit. man. He got so many different level styles of beats and he's also a, a performer and a musician. So, it works, man. No doubt, man. So, um, real quick, man. Shout out to Amy that's tuned in right now. She just hit me up on Facebook, says she need parts on that hoodie. Uh, so maybe you gotta get some hoodies uh, printed up for the fans as well, man. I got you, Amy. We want we want to sit down and talk about this one. <laughs> no yes. doubt, man. So um, again, man, considering how long you've been doing this shit and going strong and as strong now as I ever heard you doing it, man. Um, what, what's keeping you pushing, man? Making music, rocking these shows, man. What, what, what's what's I got guess you ticking still, man? Everybody, man. Y'all, man. You know you, mm -hmm. Screw Tape. Everybody, man. It, it's a team effort, man. You know what I'm saying? Everybody is motivated and, you know, for me to have these, this energy, there's no sense in me just, you know, not having an outlet to, you know, spectrum my talent. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I appreciate all y'all, man. This show tonight, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? We appreciate you and the, the same, man. Everybody, man, y'all, 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 the anticipation, everybody that's, you know, Rooting for me and they're so riled up to, to see what I'm gonna do next. That's the reason why I do what I do next. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Cause I don't, I don't, I don't even know. I don't know the next time I'm gonna blow my motherfucking nose. Right, right, right. But it's pollen season. <laughs> Might be in a few minutes. Might be next time. <laughs> but um, you you mentioned a good brother, Screw Man, and uh, we had Screw Tape on the show last week, and um, I mentioned you to Screw, and um, he had nothing obviously but great things to say about you. Um. I just want to know in your words, man, what, what's your relationship like with Screw Tape, man? And, and, and what does that relationship with Screw mean to you, man? Well, we brothers, man, from another mother. And we both share the same, you know, ideas, morals, and qualities, you know what I mean, as an individual. So as far as music is concerned, it's like, you know, we, we, we like two peas in the pie. Like, you know, we get shit done. We the grifters. <laughs> you know what I mean, we the pickpocketers. Like, you Word. know what I'm saying? Word. We we those guys. Like, we 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 crafty. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a dangerous combination. It's, and plus, we witty. So we got a lot yeah. to bring to the table, and we ain't afraid to you know create and bring new new sounds and new talents to you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's that's basically what it is. Like, you know what I mean? Screw. He's inspiring because he goes out, you know what I mean? He's on tour. He Every other day, he got a motherfucking show. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He's a video editor, of, uh, of, uh, a video shooter. He's an artist and producer. Mm -hmm. I mean, shit, don't get no better than that. No doubt, so, man. you know what I mean? I feel like the only thing I could do is just rap. And if, if you need a bodyguard, <laughs> I can fight him. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. <laughs> I was so happy, man, that um, you, know, you guys linked up and, and began running. Um, you know, because like I told Screw, um, it, you know, which I'm sure you can mention yourself, like, you always been nice, but it seemed like you fell back for a while. And then next thing you know, I see you as Screw, and then I see you as motivated as I saw you since probably we were younger, you know what I mean? And it, it seemed like you start getting more active and stuff like that. Is that the case? Do you feel like is uh, you know, getting you... Not, not getting you motivated, because again, your, your talent speaks for itself, I but just... It, it enhances me to take it to the next level, because, you know, now I feel like I got, you know, I feel like everything is falling in place, like, you know, like how, how me and you link back up. Right, like, right, right. You know, we got history that go back from, you know, 
umbrellas and rainy nights and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shout out to the boy who was on the receiving end of that. Shout umbrella. out to that rainy night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, but no, man, I'm just, again, man, you, you two are two of the nastiest MCs ever to pick up a mic. So I, I just love the fact that you guys are, uh, as you said, brothers, man, is, is so dope, man. So, um... I got a copy, also Screw was here last week, I got a copy of the Mr. Green, live from the street CD. Shout out to that too, man. Um, but of course, the good brother Slaughter Rico's name is on the back. You're also on that project. Yes, sir. Um, how, how's it feel to be not only a part of such a dope project, but um, what's your thoughts on the concept of that project? Before we get into it, man, because like when I saw the original video, you know, with you, I posted it on our takeover page for those who wonder what we're talking about. And you was at the East Coast gas station on Broad Street. Like, at, your, at, at that time, what was going through your mind, like, as far as how he created the beat, you know what I mean? So, like, in that aspect of it, how dope is it to you, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's you know, crazy honestly, what he did with that. Shout out to Screw Tape, because if it wasn't for Screw Tape, you know what I mean, he linked me and Mr. Green together. Word. You know, Green, he, he uh, reached out and wanted to work with me. So, you know, he was like, uh, he called me earlier that day, and he was like, yo, I'm at uh, East Coast Gas Station Broad in Paris. And I said, all right, well, I only live around the corner, mm -hmm. down the street. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to walk up there, and I'll be there in like 15 minutes. As I was walking, they already was out there. So I guess they, you know, I, I got a distinctive walk. Everybody know me when they see me coming from a mile away. Mm -hmm. So I'm walking up. So they already people like, yeah, that's something right there. So I'm walking up, and we start busting up. And next thing I know, he opened up his, uh, the trunk. Because he had like a, uh, you know, What's that, a caravan? Right, right, right. All those little caravans. Yeah, yeah. Open he opened up, up the back joint. Oh my goodness, man. Sat down. He machine and everything back there. So he was like, yeah, this is what I was working on right here. He started playing the shit. Next thing I know, I see screw tape. He coming up. So I'm like, all right, bet. So I'm, I'm sitting here trying to formulate what I'm going to say to these beats. And it actually took about an hour. It didn't take no longer than okay. an hour for us to put together what we did. Because mm. most, most of the time was just with scenes. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? From the camera. But we went right in, and then when it, once I uh seen the beat and he started putting things together, I said, "Oh yeah, we gonna fuck this joint up right here." For sure, you know what I'm saying? Hey, yo, and I, it, it, they I was excited. See that video, man, they I was really see excited. That video. So how how more excited did you were you then when you when found out? It? Well, not only seeing the video, but leading forward now to the fact that so <clears> it's it, it's on the project. Oh yeah, yeah well, well they, they made, made the it. beat out of out of you know like. Sounds from a car, like a slam of the door, the glove department closed, mm -hmm. you turn ignition, mm -hmm. uh, the, 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 what's that, the, uh, the gas valve cap and all mm -hmm. that, right, right. you know what I'm saying? The he female did, who said East beat. Coast, John, she was the sample, right, she John. was rough too, she from yeah. Richard Allen, shout out to Trina, mm -hmm. I know who you is, mm -hmm. she was rougher than the motherfucker, so I was like, East Coast gas station. <laughs> <laughs> Said, but yeah, man, that joint was dope, I didn't even dope, see man. it when they, when they, when they put the camera to it, Word. I didn't even know it was gonna be that hot Word. until... You saw it. I seen it for myself, and I said, oh, yeah. It's crazy. And so it made it on the project. That's what we were bringing it up. Yeah. Um, so, and it just got released a few weeks ago. Uh, we talked about it last week um, <clears throat> when Screw was here. How's it feel for that to end up on such a dope project? And not only that, man, but to be released on Duck Down Music, on Duck Down Records, I should say. Oh, man, it feels wonderful, man. Like, right now, I'm just taking it as it comes, man. I can't really say that I'm super duper overwhelmed because this shit is, like, hitting me by a storm. But I'm going to just say that uh, I definitely feel the vibrations, but I'm kind of numb to this shit right now. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I mean? I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm happy, man. You know what I'm saying? Without the smiles right now. Word, just, word. I don't know what else to expect, man. It's like a, a birthday party that, I mean, how how good is shit gonna keep on getting? Word, word. You know you what I'm saying? You deserve it too, bro. You deserve that shit, man. I appreciate it, man. We all deserve it, though, We do, man. man. And like I said, like, as long as we connected, we gonna be good. Sure, you know man. what I'm saying? That, that's how I feel, like, that's why I'm here. Mm. As long as we connected, we gonna be good, because it's, it's always gonna be a better situation. It's gonna be something else that's gonna be in, in you know, in the active and in play, mm -hmm. and it's gonna serve a, a, a another purpose for us. It, sure. It's not over right here, and I don't know. I can't say uh, I'm gonna end and want to retire being a rapper. No, shit. I, I never been fired. I never was even hired, so I ain't thinking about <laughs> retirement. <Word. laughs> Especially when you're spending the, the best shit of your life right now. You know yeah, what I mean? So. I feel you, man. I asked you this once before. Forgive me, but I gotta ask you again. 
I asked you this in 2013, and I know you said, like you said, man, uh, you know, you, you, you're you much more than a battle rapper. You're focused on making music, but what will it take to get you back in the ring and chop one of these motherfuckers' heads off, Slaughter? Real shit. What would it take, man? Is that even possible? I'm not... You're probably not even thinking about that right now, but so the question is, what would it take, man? I mean, honestly, I get in the ring and put the gloves on with somebody faster than going word for word. Somebody standing over me, spitting in my face, pointing at my chest. Mm. You know, I rather I rather beat you the fuck up. <laughs> show you I ain't just a rapper. I don't I ain't got no rap unless the music going for real, for real. Word and. I mean, it's a big enough battle for me to try to get to this point to do what I just did. Drop. Yeah. I need parts and to work mm. on the next album and to be featured on everybody's, you know, project and to keep on doing shows and to keep, you know, you know, find a, uh, self sparking myself up. Because mm -hmm. I'm my own battery. I ain't got nothing in my back. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I just find out. Sure, I don't know, man. Like, I don't want to go at nobody. I want to teach people. I want to help people. I, I I need help my damn self. Word. And I ain't going to sit here and, and set myself up for failure because we know how these battles is. It ain't it ain't like how it used to be back in the day when we was in William Penn. Mm -hmm. Or right. even e then, too, but even when you, like, showed up, say, to when you battled that boy uh, up in New York streets or something. Right. You didn't know who you were battling, I'm sure, right? You just, that's the beauty of it, Right, because you just show up. You got rhymes. They got rhymes. It wasn't personal. It was just whoever right. had the hottest rhymes well, no on that day. No one was day. prepared for nobody. Right. It was just like, uh, you coming with what you got, I'm coming with what I got. Right. Let's go. Right, that's I'm, something. I'm not sitting yeah. here looking at a picture of you all day trying to get <laughs> dirt yeah, and background right. on right. you or your family. Right. I don't need to go at your peoples or go at your lifestyle to go at you. Mm -hmm. I just go at you. Mm -hmm. So just go at me. Mm -hmm. Cause if you say something about my mama or your child, or we ain't even we ain't even rapping so, 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 no more. Right. We not we not rapping no more. Mm -hmm. Somebody gonna have to pick your chin up off the ground. Word. You know what I'm saying? I was talking to Reef, man. Shout out to Reef, and and because you know he was in that battle shit, and he literally. Just he well he said exactly what you're saying but right now. Rap, Same like, thing. I'm like, a grown ass man, man. I'm 36 years old. Mm -hmm. I mean, what I look like getting in the ring, battling somebody. Like I said, we go lace the gloves up. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I ain't that. I'm about two years younger than Floyd. I still got it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Word, man. Why were you on that? Who you got side next week, man? Oh, Floyd man, or, or Pac-Man? Man, Floyd ain't never lose me no money, so I can't do nothing else no better than that. I love Pac-Man, man. Good rap. He's a good. I said a good rapper. He's a good fighter. And he has a good heart, like he's humble as I don't know, mm -hmm. but probably the humblest box I ever seen. He's a good dude. In my sure. whole life. He's the humblest box I ever seen. Mm -hmm. But, and he's probably the greatest contender to go against Floyd Mayweather. And, Where, gonna, and it's gonna be a rumble. Oh, it is. Man. It's gonna be a super duper rumble, but he don't have all the tools to execute to win the fight. Now, I'm not saying he don't got enough gas, mm -hmm. but it's all about what he do in them rounds that's gonna, you know, affect Floyd Mayweather. Or, you know, put him in the in the, in the deeper hole. You got the decision. Sure. You got decision. I got a decision. Yeah. yeah. I mean, cause the only I mean, you can't beat a champion unless you knock him out. True. So he could beat his ass all rounds, but if he ain't knocking Floyd Mayweather out, mm -hmm. he ain't winning. Yeah. And, and that's I don't, say, I don't that. see that happening, yeah. man. The only way to beat the champ is knock him out. Now, if anyone could. Possibly put him on his ass. It might be Pac Man, but like yeah, you said, no doubt. I, 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 listen, I'm I not, not saying Pac Man on his ass, is not, so. can't put him, put him down. Right, but, but I never he's saw not him. He's going to stay down. Yeah, I, and it's going to be a rumble, like, you know. I don't even think he's going to put him down. I, I really don't see that happening, man. I mean, I don't know. I it's can't possible, say, man. Listen, I, Floyd Mayweather ain't perfect. True, That's one true. He can sure. slip, man. He can slip and, up. And, he, you know? and for the record, he not. No, you can't never put him in the mention set with Muhammad Ali. He put himself in there. Yeah, yeah like, that's that what I'm saying. And that was like no, out of about pocket. Slavery. Did you hear what he said? Yeah. That was out of pocket. Like he wouldn't even have lasted in them times with my. With, where I was fighting like 25 rounds back then, dog. Yeah. yeah. Crazy man. So uh, another question, man. We're gonna be ending it shortly, man. You mentioned. Uh, not even a few seconds ago, man, that you rather teach someone, man. And that actually led up to my next question. Coming from where we come from and living in the conditions that we lived in and still live around, um, what advice could you offer a young boy who might be watching right now, who's growing up in poverty, who wants to do good, but he's got all the odds in the world stacked up against him? What advice can you offer a young boy who pretty much grew up in the same situation we grew up to be successful, to make it, even if it's normal, but you know, not to be rich and all that, but just 
to make it, man? What kind of advice would you give a youngin', man? Honestly, stay to yourself. You know what I'm saying? Right now, these this new generation of young boys is shot out. And if you try to change your life, you need to get the fuck away from them dudes. You know what I'm saying? Or even if you're not trying to change it, even if you just never went that route, but listen to the man. I don't mean to cut you off. Uh, all right, well, if I you never went that you, route, man. then, I mean, everybody know right from wrong. Mm -hmm. And if you know something's wrong in your life and you know you need to make a change, then it don't take a rocket scientist to say, well, I need to do the right thing. It's easier than wanting better. You got to do better. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, it's peer pressure for these young kids right now in this generation. Look at the music, for instance. If you're a rapper coming up, then don't listen to none of that rap shit that the people in your age group is listening to because they shot the fuck out. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And that's what they follow. That's what they trend. That's a new trend for them. That's not a trend to us. That's a fad. Mm -hmm. You know? That's real shit. O only, only followers do uh, follows fads. You know what I'm saying? Uh, original people, they create trends. They set trends. They try to do something better than what they did the last time. Something mm -hmm. that's acceptable. You know? Nothing that only... You know, they got dumbass old heads thinking they young boys out here now. That's crazy, man. People that's older than us. Right, right. Trying to hang with the young boys and, and it's so dress pathetic. like the young like, boys. And these they old heads that they look up to, though. These are motherfuckers that taught them, and they always taught them wrong. Mm. And that's their perception of life. Like, yeah, we got to get it the fast way. Like, fuck it, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's bigger than fuck it. It's funny you mention so that, I, man, I, mean, I, don't I know, see man. a lot of people our age and even older, like you said, trying to trying to roll with these young boys and not even roll with them in the sense of teaching them in school. Ain't nothing wrong with rolling with some young boys if you're trying to uplift them or, you know, bring them along. But to try to get on a level, it's like, you should make them young boys get on your level. You know what I mean? Not, so I, I feel you 100% you know on that, they, bro. They, they looking for leaders right now, man. But the ones that they looking at as leaders. Snitchers. Yeah. They, they, I mean, they, shit, they, 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 they suspects. The ones that they look at that they think is uh what they want to be man they 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 fry rice man mm. pussy fried rice <laughs> well what could i say like man they out of pocket man for sure man and i, I don't know like i got a son i'd be damned to see him doing shit that his classmates is doing because i wasn't that type of kid growing up mm. i ain't do nothing nobody did nobody in my class was a rapper mm. i was the only rapper in school mm -hmm. At an elementary Right, right, right You know what I'm saying I had people that wanted to be a rapper You know, it was probably older people that was rapping mm -hmm. But they, you know And I ain't gonna say I started off Like out of nowhere I was just a shit No, it took me time to become the shit But I but I got there real early You know what I'm saying By the time I was out of middle school By the time I hit high school I already knew I was the shit What middle I'm school fresh. you went to, fam? I went to Wanamakers John oh, Wanamakers shit. It's Harrison, rest in peace John Wanamakers mm. Rest in peace, William Penn Sure that shit man. fucked up. You know what I mean? I, ain't, I can't even go and give a tour or a documentary yeah. on the places that I grew up at because I can't even go inside. Yeah, a couple of mine is going too. I went to Fairhill on Somerset. That's not there. It was still there, but that's closed. I went to uh, the old Roberto building on Fifth and Luzerne. That's closed. I did go to Elverson for like two weeks, but then my mom realized it was the whole hood, our hood yeah. there, and she sent me right up Roberto. But I feel you, fam. And then, like you said, William Penn. So it's a bunch of these schools closing, man. But guess what? It's a few new prisons about to get built, though. You oh, know what I mean? Ain't that some shit? It, they been was building prisons, man. They was building prisons before they started knocking down schools. Mm. They ain't gonna never stop building prisons, man. Shout out to that nut ass Bob Barker. The price is wrong, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> he owned them motherfuckers too. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he owned them joints. Bread, man. You know what I'm saying? Is he, st he still alive? Yeah, I think he's still alive. I don't know. Let's ask Screw Tape. Screw Tape is Bob Barker alive? Could you Google Bob Barker? He's still alive? Yeah. I know that nigga got still a, on. I, oh no, he got a nice ass right here. Drake Harry's on the show now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're right, right, right. He's still alive. Yeah, no, yeah. That's that's crazy. Yeah, he's running um, the prisons. That's why he the warden. Oh. Man. Man. <laughs> Shit, man. Real quick, man. I'm gonna throw you for a loop, man, and then we are gonna have to wrap it up, man. Thirty six chambers of forever. 36 Chambers. I always like to ask people this question. Why is that, man? Because that's the most authenticness that you're going to get from Wu-Tang, period. Like, that's what started Wu-Tang. And, you know, I ain't going to say that, you know, what was the other one? Forever. Forever. 
wasn't diluted, but they was trying to get they. I feel like they was uh ah. What can I say, man? I don't want to say get commercial because they were trying to reach commercial. more of a they were more audience, more of the masses, yeah. but it wasn't like the same chemistry or the same formula that they had mm -hmm. with the original first album. Right. It was like more so of a collaboration piece, more a compilation, that more so than the album. I never yeah. heard of it in that way, and you probably and that makes sense because you figure about it, and they were all touring, doing it. They done did individual joints, so maybe they, yo, that's actually a great way to put it. I never thought of it. In that it was way. a double disc, right? Indeed, yeah. That shit was a double this. compilation, yo. It was it's like, like laying around here somewhere. It's been around here. Hey, go right here. But yeah, it's a double disc joint. But uh. Yeah, I, 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 I always, I, before I would switch it up, ask people this album, that album, but for like the last eight guests, I've been asking just this particular question to get everyone feedback. And believe it or not, we got a few forever, and I understand there are reasons for that, but you know, um, 36 Chambers, man, yeah, just be more that time, that man. place. I remember the first time I heard Protect Your Neck on Power 99, and I didn't know what the fuck just hit me. I was like, yo, Whoa. when I first seen the video, Protect Your Neck, I said, damn, these motherfuckers wilder than Onyx. And right then and then, Onyx was like the yeah, wildest on Mars, yeah. But then once Wu-Tang came out, you ain't hear shit from Onyx to like 95 with the uh, Last Days. That was a pretty dope joint too, but, though. What made thing. me really know that Wu-Tang was a bunch of crazy motherfuckers is when I seen Old Dirty. When he said, first things first, oh, you fucking with the worst. He was nice. Stick Yo, he was in your head like a fucking nerd. When I seen him, I said, Oh, ain't none of them boys. I mean, Wu Tang is deep and they wild, but ain't none of them crazier than him. Mm -hmm. And you know what's crazy? He was probably the, the most intelligent brother, too, out of that. As crazy as he was, man, Old Dirty had a fucking He was mind, the most man. belligerent, though. Like, yeah, he of course he was. Fuck, he, he, and he, like, so. Wild as shit. His image sold Wu Tang to me. Like, Meth was the forerunner. Meth was the one. Like, you know, mm -hmm. he was the star of Wu Tang, mm -hmm. but Old Dirty image sold the whole Wu Tang. Mm -hmm. Not to say that, you know, the RZA didn't have chemistry because I honestly think the man behind the brains was the Jizza. Mm. But uh, RZA was the man behind the production and Old Dirty was just a crazy boy. He was the one that solidified that Wu-Tang was certif certified crazy. Mm. You know what I'm saying? When I seen him, I said, oh yeah, them motherfuckers is crazy. Yeah, it was Old Dirty that did it. Damn sure, man. Rest in peace, Old Dirty. R.I.P., man. So look, man, again, uh, if you don't have it, you need to get this. I need parts. The motherfucking EP for those watching. Shout out to everyone that's locked in now. If you came in late, the interview will be up on YouTube. And if it's already at that point, shout out to y'all watching on YouTube. Make sure you share this shit. So again, I need parts. Grab that on Bandcamp. Search Walter Rico. Or if you see him in person, just roll up on him like, yo, yeah, I need parts. Please. You know what I mean? Please just, just run up on me and say, you need parts. <laughs> yeah. Because I got you. And uh, stay tuned for the, the new project coming soon, too. Tomorrow's not promised. Um, explain, uh, you know, any last words, bro? Any links you want to drop? Any Twitter handles or Instagrams? Uh, the mic's yours, brother. Yeah. Uh, if y'all looking for me on social media, I'll be at... Uh, Slaughter underscore Rico on Twitter. Slaughter Rico on Instagram. Yeah. On Facebook, I'm Tyrone Slaughter Rico Isley. You know what I mean? They, they asked for me to request my government, so I had to give them a government. Because, <laughs> uh, I don't know, I guess I was I was causing up a little bit of, uh, kicking up a little bit of dust on Facebook as just Slaughter Rico. So they said, we want to know who you really is. Need that whole well, thing. That's what y'all going to get, who I really am. And, and this album, Tomorrow's Not Promise, is giving y'all who I really am. Because... I mean, like I said, I, I could probably trip over a toenail and it's over for me. So, you know, I take life serious. And people say, don't take life too serious. Well, then, you know, be young forever then. Don't have no morals. Don't be responsible. Be, be a fucking jerk off all your life then. Wear, wear mm. You know what I mean? Pants. Talk you know, to him. Yeah, wear tight pants and walk <laughs> around with funny ass glasses on like you, you really fucking special or something. You Talk know what I'm saying? Him, Weirdo. Why don't you just be yourself? You only live once. What's wrong with just being you? I'm being me. I don't got no problem with it. I've been doing that shit since I was born. I was taught by the best. And I teach I teach the ones that I see that has potential. The ones that's going to listen. You know what I mean? Even the hard-haired motherfuckers. I ain't got to teach y'all shit. I just cut y'all the fuck out. Because y'all dickheads. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> y'all know no better. You got to say in that Philly accent, dickhead. But uh, again, Slaughter, it's always a pleasure to have you, bro. Um, you know anything we can do. We will do it uh, for you as far as the show and even personal, man. Um, 
And I'm definitely going to see you on that chessboard real soon. No doubt. I mean, I'm not the best, but I'm going to take his place to the game. <laughs> and right now, screw tape. Oh, man, this motherfucker been kicking my ass up and down the chess lately. For Listen, and for some reason... Why? Who's still, winning the series total about? Give or take. Still, I'm still up. Oh, you still up? Listen, I got about... I don't know how many... I don't want to exaggerate how many wins I got. Right, right. For the last... Since he been on tour... Right. Been kicking my ass on it. Yeah. yeah I, I was starting to question if he was really playing me online. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. But I said, no, nah, he, he's yo, he getting good, man. He really oh, good. What's up, man? I'm, I'm, I'm struggling to beat him now. Like, I, I owe him a few. I'm a little you know rusty, saying? man, but I would love to play y'all, yeah, man. So yeah, definitely, yeah. I got winners, man. Um, again, good brother. Thank you Thank for you, showing man. us Thanks all the love me, that Listen, you do, man. Next time y'all need me, man, sweep the floors, so much, man. anything. <laughs> no, I'll man. take out the trash. I'm here, bro. Man, Listen, listen we, no we no affiliated, man. This ain't about nothing, man. All day, man. Again, yes, it's sir. been a pleasure um, to have you on the show. We're pretty much at the end at this point, man. I'm glad we got that hour worth of music in um, to start because I knew we was going to run uh, a little longer than normal because, you know, that's the good brother Slaughter, man. So, um... Feedy Sport, man. What's on your mind, brother? How you feeling, man? You good over there? I'm feeling good. I learned a new word, North Affiliated. I think that's, yeah. that's, that's Thank really Thank you very much. Dope. We need to make really shirts then. North Affiliated. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, uh, one more thing. You don't have to sweep the floors, but we do need bars in here before you step out. Okay, there, cool. A few cool. bars, a few bars. A few. You know, we got a few minutes left. But in the building, it would be love to end this dope interview off. Uh, what type beat you looking for, brother? We gonna give since you the special guest, just man. Just play something, man. Just just something that's hit. Type beat, man. You know just give him something to bounce to. Ready? Some boom bap, whatever you at. But he had the beat ready. He knew. in a few days. Oh, 
wrong with you. Yeah. God damn, man. He just Sorry. snaps the yeah. fuck out, man. Yeah. A few snow bunny joints. I, I, I fucks with you, Slaughter, man. Bro, shit, man. Gang, good brother. It's always love, man. <laughs> Nothing but love. And, um, yeah, man, that, that took us pretty much to the end. That's how that you end legendary. the motherfucking show. Yeah, Little freestyle. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah. I was trying to catch myself. I thought I was going to fall. That was definitely dope, man. Um, shit, man. You snapped last week, too, Screw. A lot of people was hitting us up about your uh, freestyle at the end of the interview as well, man. Talking about this. Um, Living in the ghetto when you know the time's hard. People waiting for me to slip and get thrown behind bars. I'm cool. I got some other plans, no more hustling Pay this lawyer off, this couple I had to chase to get this paper, never drove a fine car Can't be faithful to these bitches, cause these hoes be trying fraud I'm cool, cause she left me, cause I was struggling Won't see her again, she'll be back when times is trouble Just sipping Henny, bitch and pennies, they envy me on that slum block Pockets full of Benji's, looking dingy on my